Why do many examples use fake? X equals plt dot subplots in matplotlib slash perplot slash python. I'm learning to use matplotlib by studying examples, and a lot of examples seem to include a line like the following before creating a single plot. Here are some examples. Modify tick label text. This URL. I see this function used a lot, even though the example is only attempting to create a single chart. Is there some other advantage? The official demo for subplots also uses f, x equals subplots when creating a single chart, and it only ever references x after that. This is the code they use. plt.subplots is a function that returns a tuple containing a figure and acts as objects. Thus when using fig, axe equals plt.subplots you unpack this tuple into the variables fig and axe. Having fig is useful if you want to change figure level attributes or save the figure as an image file later, for example with fig.savefig your file name.ping. You certainly don't have to use the returned figure object but many people do use it later so it's common to see. Also, all axe is objects. The objects that have plotting methods have a parent figure object anyway, thus. Is more concise than this. Just a supplement here. The following question is that what if I want more subplots in the figure? As mentioned in the doc, we can use fig equals plt dot subplots and rows equals two, and calls equals two, to set a group of subplots with grid two comma two in one figure object. Then as we know, the fig, axe equals plt dot subplots returns a tuple. Let's try fig, axe one, axe two, axe three, axe four equals plt dot subplots and rows equals two, and calls equals two, firstly. It raises an error, but no worry because we now see that plt.subplots actually returns a tuple with two elements. The first one must be a figure object, and the other one should be a group of subplots objects. So let's try this again. And check the type. Of course, if you use parameters as, and rows equals one, and calls equals four, then the format should be. So just remember to keep the construction of the list as the same as the subplots grid we set in the figure. Hope this would be helpful for you. As a supplement to the question and above answers there is also an important difference between plt.subplots and plt.subplot. Notice the missings at the end. One can use plt.subplots to make all their subplots at once and it returns the figure in axes, plural of axis, of the subplots as a tuple. A figure can be understood as a canvas where you paint your sketch. Whereas, you can use plt.subplot if you want to add the subplot separately. It returns only the axis of one subplot. However, plt.subplots is preferred because it gives you easier options to directly customize your whole figure. Whereas, with plt.subplot, one will have to specify individually for each axis which can become cumbersome. In addition to the answers above, you can check the type of object using type plt.subplots, which returns a tuple, on the other hand, type plt.subplot 
returns matplotlib.axis.underscore subplots.axis of plot which you can't unpack. Thank <laughs> you.